Okay, this is an experiment with a bunch of different RFID readers. This one is uh, 125 kilohertz. It's using an Arduino Nano connected to an RDM 6300. This one is an Arduino Pro Micro uh, running at 3.3 volts connected to an RC522 which is running at 13.56 megahertz the reason why I had to use the nano here is it's uh, this RDM6300 is a 5 volt interface so that's a 5 volt um, MCU and this is a 3.3 volt MCU this is just a generic Windows uh, reader for 125 kilohertz cards this is a reader that I built that will <clears throat> read 134.2 kilohertz and it has this big uh, coil antenna on it. So up here um, I've connected up this generic reader to this. Um, this is just notepad and I'm using notepad because I can expand the text to be readable even on the video um, this reader here is connected over on this panel this one is connected here these are both running putty and just a terminal emulator and this is a H term which is connected to 130 4 kilohertz um, reader so these tags are 125 kilohertz and if I put one on here I have to put the cursor over here if I want it to show up over here So these are 125 kilohertz tags and if I read one with the generic reader it's blank. Um, the card is also blank. As you can see it's the same number. However that's not all the information that's on here. If we look at this same uh, this is also 125 kilohertz so if we look at this you can see that it's reading a bunch of data but it does get the same ID number now let's take a look at this guy um, I got a bunch of um, tags from the uh, ST micro um, RFID tag kit uh, I think there was 19 in the in the kit and these are really paper thin some of them so uh, it's reading over here presumably yes um, and you can see that that tag is different from this one we get a different uh, ID number here and this uh, is a special tag which uh, proves that there is RF power at the 13 megahertz uh, readers so you can see the LEDs lighting up just from the power now what I really wanted to do was to experiment with how far away these things can read tags um, oh just I can also do a phone so I can use the ST micro tag reader and see what it does with these NFC tags oh let's see if there's power there. okay so we can see that the ST card reader actually detects the chip in here as well as shows the uh, power LEDs now these two generic tags are actually um, data tags so they you can see they have a lot of data on them if I read that it's 
a whole screen full of data and it's the same thing with this one there's not anything but uh, sort of blank stuff there right now but you can see that there is a lot of data on the tag okay I'm just gonna cut in a segment showing the phone reading some tags without any interference from these other readers so there's a lot of tags in the ST RFID tag kit and it can read all these different tags They're, some of them are very very thin the one that has the power LEDs on it also reads and this little fancy one wow only four of them these four can be read by this generic reader but these generic tags let's see if they read yep yeah, it can read these generic tags as well now let's see the reading distance about one centimeter what about these clothing tags no it cannot read those good experiment though so that's just, just a quick demonstration of how a phone can read a lot of different uh, 13 megahertz tags but um, the distance isn't what I want so that's not really going to be useful for my applications now this hundred now this uh, 134.2 kilohertz device um, I've hooked, I've built some antennas for it as well so this is a commercial antenna but if I take that off and plug on just a printed circuit board antenna that I made back on and that reads these tags here so you can see how far away it can read here boom so it's about an inch which is a little bit better but um, I actually made another antenna let's take this one off and put on a bigger antenna so this is quite a bit bigger and you can see it's a printed antenna as well so let's see how close that can get and you were just watching this panel to see when it reads okay I'm gonna unplug these other guys so I can test that properly alright so the only reader running right now is this 134 kilohertz reader and it's got this sort of 9 inch 8 inch antenna on it and we're gonna check out the read distance wow that's reading already up here which is about eight inches away so this reader with this large antenna can read from quite a distance which is what I'm looking for so it makes a huge difference to get a big antenna like this and we can see that this guy is actually a different code so these two tags are are different so that's what I wanted to prove now I might even try to make a larger antenna for this guy but I'll have to use some magnet wire or something for that I don't have I'm not going to print another circuit board for it however that's what I'm trying to get at right now I'm just experimenting with how far away I can read these tags and most of them and most of the systems can only read 
you know, within a centimeter or two. This guy reads uh, maybe an inch away. But this guy, you can get all the way up here, eight inches or so. Uh, 